What's up, family? So I want to spread some awareness before it's too late. If you know somebody that lives in Houston, slept with somebody that lives in Houston, or resided to Houston in the last year, I would advise both of y'all to go get checked right now. Just got off the phone with my mentor, and he's actually in the medical field. His friend that is in the Houston CDC, which stands for Center of Disease Control, is talking about how HIV has spread it amongst so many black women. More, more so than any other race. And they also saying it's a lot of men out there that's... I'm not going to keep telling every bitch that I mess with that I got STDs. That if you've been feeling sick lately, so you go to the hospital, you go for a checkup. And you start doing a checkup because you've been feeling very sick. You haven't been eating. You've been vomiting. Like, you've been losing weight. Like, you really have been feeling really, really sick for a, a long time. And when I say a long time, I mean, like, a month or two, two, three months, right? So, you finally go and get checked out. So, um, after that... You wake up and it's Valentine's Day. You wake up to, you no know, the flowers, balloons, chocolate, breakfast in bed and stuff like that. And your man is like, hey, go and take my card and go buy you something that you want, that you actually want. And go get your hair done. I pay for you to go get your hair done. So you take his card. You're like, oh, thanks. So you go shopping, right? You go and get your hair done. So here's the kicker. While you're going to go get your hair done, you sit in the chair. You're on Twitter. You're scrolling on Twitter and stuff like that. Or X. Now that it's called scrolling on X. And you see some tea. You click on it. This dude has seemed like he's arguing with like a fake page and saying like, I can't believe you didn't fucking give me nothing for Valentine's Day. We've been together for eight years. This and that. The fake page is like, chill out. I did get you something. I did get you something. And the fake page are uh, like not better than this bitch. Not better than these bitches and stuff like that. You've got these bitches, all types of stuff. But you're going to give me some funky ass flowers and this and that. And he was like, bro, you got me fucked up because we've been through the thick and thin together. This and that. And uh, the dude is like, bro, I'm, I'm about to go live on Instagram. So you go to his Instagram, he put his Instagram down. He go to his Instagram and he's basically still saying the same stuff. So he was just like, I want his live on Instagram. He's like, bro, this nigga got me fucked up. This nigga got me fucked up. He ain't came with no, no nothing. He only gave me some funky ass fucking flowers. So uh, he was like, you know what? I'm about to expose this motherfucker. I'm about to swallow because I'm fucking sick of his shit. This and that. So you go back on Twitter because he told you to go back on Twitter to see like the exposing. So you go back on Twitter and he posts videos. The video stuff of your man. It's your man. So you're scrolling, right? Scrolly, scrolly, scrolly. And you're looking at the videos and you're like, ooh. So you finna click on, you click on the dude's page and you hear your hairstylist that's doing your hair is like, hey, can you go back to that video? You're like, okay. Like, you already got attitude. So you're like, all right, sure. You go back to the video and she's like, can you hang on one second? You're like, okay. So you didn't give a fuck because you finna go to the bathroom and you finna cuss his ass out. So as you're going in the bathroom to cuss his ass out, you hear her from the pod closet cussing another nigga out so you start listening like what's going on and she like and i see all fucking twitter sucking dick and getting bent over this and that so you hear your nigga sam no nah, this all a prank this all a prank this my ex bitch ch um trying to prank me and stuff like that and the girl in a sapog your hair sounds like how is she trying to fucking prank you when it's clearly a fucking do i seen the fucking do on live and he's like bro that's just her brother that's just her brother they trying to they try to do this and set me out and stuff like that trying to make it seem like i'm this and i'm not like you know me you know me for five years and stuff like that and she's like i have fucking known you for five years so uh she get done cussing him out you're still sitting back you got back your set in the chair right she come back out and like, i'm so sorry i'm so sorry you like no nah, it's okay she's like hey can you go to the video one more time for me so you just like okay you go to the video and so she relook at the video and she shake her head and then you scroll up to look at the comment or to look at the other comments in the comments and the dude is talking about yeah i was with you even when you gave me um um aids and, and hiv and this and that so now you are like stop my hair the girl is is already like hiv like wait a minute so the girl is like um i'm gonna i'm gonna look the shit up you like hiv hiv like aids hiv aids so the girl is like, wait, wait the fuck a minute, wait, wait a fucking minute, because I think I know him. I fucking think I know him, and and I know a friend that's been fucking with him. And if this nigga said that he got um HIV, and he got AIDS and stuff like that, he been fuck her. Wouldn't that mean she has it? And the whole shop was like, I don't know, but it was only like three people in the shop. It was it was you, the hairstylist, and then another hairstylist. So just like I don't know, I don't know. So she's like, I'm gonna look the shit up, and she start looking up the shit, and she's like, my friend got this, my friend hasn't been eating, she hasn't been, she's been vomiting, she been getting sweats and stuff like that. So you like, what? So that's when you start getting scared, you run out the shop, and you, you call him, you like, what the fuck is going on? Like, you fucking, and he like, no, no, I don't have any of that. I don't know if this is somebody trying to set me up, I swear to God, somebody trying to set me up, and you like, I've been feeling fucking sick for months now, like, bro, what? I've been fucking eating, I've been losing weight, and this and that, and... He was like, no, 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 no. And then your test results just come in. Okay, part two. So you still on the phone with him. He like, babe, I swear I, I ain't got nothing. I ain't got nothing. They lying on me. Somebody's trying to send me up. You like, boy, um, shut the fuck up. You lying. And then you get a notification that says your test result is ready. Your test result is ready. You get like three or four of them interrupts. So you log into your, your hospital app and you start looking at your test result. 
So he's like, no, I swear. And why'd you talking to me? Like, did you hang up? Hello? You need to fucking talk to me. And he like, shut the fuck up. I got the test results because I went to the, uh, I went to the doctor a couple of days ago. So he like, what does it say? What does it say? And you started reading it and you see the one for gonorrhea. It says negative. The value was negative. You see the one for trichomosis. The value was negative. You start seeing the stuff that says negative. And you start feeling stupid like, oh, wait, the, vi the, the thing says negative. And he's like, I fucking told you. I fucking told you. I told you I don't got nothing. You listen to these other bitches that's trying to set me up and this and that. So he's like, let me see. So you skirt, you share your screen with him on the iPhone. You do screen share. You see, and, it's, and it says negative, negative with the uh, trichomosis, with the um, gonorrhea and stuff like that. So he's like, I fucking told you. I fucking told you. And he's like, I'm so sorry you started apologizing to him. So as you're apologizing to him, um, he's like, what's the HCG blood thing mean? So you click on that one and you see the value is 16 and it says three weeks. Gestational is three weeks. So y'all both was like, what the fuck? He's like, what, is, what does that mean? And you're like, I don't know. Let me click on the information one. So you click on the information um, tab that explain what it is. And it explains that, that you're pregnant. So he's like, what the fuck? You're pregnant. You're pregnant. And you're like, I just found this out too. So he's like, no, no, this can't be. This can't be. This can't be. So as he said that, he was like, I'll, I'll see you at the house. I'll see you at the house. You get, you starting to get another call on a line. You're like, hold on, I'll hang up and I'll call you back or whatever because it's the hospital. The hospital is calling you. You click over and they say, hey, you know, is this blah, blah, blah. You're like, yes. Well, we need to go over some test results. This is Dr. Blog. We need those, your test result and this and that. And he was like, yeah, I just seen that all my test results said I was pregnant and stuff like that. He was like, whatever question that you have, you, you should save it until you get here. Like, you, you should come here. So you're like, okay, good. So you hang up with um, them and them. You get a text from your boyfriend that meet me at the house. So you drop to the house and he's like, I fucking told you, I fucking told you, but are you really pregnant? And you just like, I don't know. The doctor said, just save the question. He's like, you probably ain't even pregnant. Like, I ain't even gonna really worry about that because it says three weeks thing. It, in the end of the say, you can't really detect it and act it that early. So you're like, okay, whatever. Like, I am going to go up there to see, you know, what's the rest of these test results so that I don't understand it. He like, he's like, Aria, I don't care as long as the shit say negative. Negative, I told you so. Y'all, you still apolog apologizing. Y'all start doing date night and stuff like so, Dorn is getting towards the end of the day, y'all still doing date night, y'all have sex. Don't know why you have sex, because you must have forgot about the girl that was in the shop. But anyway, y'all have sex in the, um, in the morning time, you go to the doctor's appointment. You This time, you go with your friend, though. So, you and your friend is going to your doctor's appointment. The, or, uh, you see the doctor, the doctor is like, hey, like, we have some information to tell you, like, do you want her to be here in a room? And you thinking that it's only going to say, like, they're only going to tell you, like, yeah, you're pregnant, so you, like, yeah, she could stay here, she could stay here. So... The doctor said, are you sure there's some pretty sensitive information? And it's like, you like, yeah, she could stay, she could stay. She's my best friend. You know, she's going to be here for me. And he was like, well, okay, they go over your results. They tell you like, hey, you're pregnant. And you're like, yeah, I seen that. And he was like, but we need to get um more blood from you. Just, you know, it will be better to get more blood from you and stuff like that. So he's like, okay, I'll schedule down at the lab. I'll go down to the lab and get it as soon as we don't hear. And he was like, and we also have something else to tell you. And then he tells you that you have HIV. And he was like, well, how could that be? Like, whenever I'm looking at the test, like, you start yelling. And your friend was like, what? And you start yelling at the doctor, like, how could that be? I already looked at the test results and it said negative and this and that. And he was like, well, the gonorrhea and stuff like that. Labs came back and they said it was negative. I know you need some time. You start breaking down. You start crying. You start, like, flipping out. And, you know, the doctor gives some time and stuff like that. So fast forward. So your friend is asking me, like, okay, like, I'm about to stay with you. Like, I'm here for you. I'm going to be here for you. You know, like, we can figure this out together. Like, your life is not over. It's going to be okay. Your life is not the end of you. Start cussing her out like, bitch, you're not the one that died HIV. So what the fuck are you talking about? And you get so mad that you kick her out. So she gets out and she's still standing like, while she walking out like, I'm going to always be here for you. Um, You know, I'm going to be always here for you and stuff like that. And like, good, get the fuck out. So, you know, she leaves and stuff like that. And you sit in there and waiting for your man to get home. He gets home and then you confront him like, nigga, you did have that shit. You did have it. I got it. And he was like, no, you're lying. You're lying. You must have given it to me. And this and that. She was like, N and you like, nigga, I'm pregnant. And I got HIV. What the fuck is wrong with you? And he was like, hey, you need to start stop raising your voice to me. And, and you was like, no, because you gave me the shit. And you're like, I'm going to call the cops on you. I'm going to call the cops on you. So your ass and go to jail because you knew you had it. So he proceeds to take your phone out your hand and start beating you up. Like when I say beat you up, like beat you up really bad. Okay, so part three. So when I say he's beating your ass, I mean, he's beating your ass, stump you in the stomach and that this kid is not going to be alive that y'all not gonna have a kid together that this kid gotta go he's like punch you in the face and you trying to fight back but it's the 6'3 240 pound light skin nigga like you are not doing nothing you are 5'3 at the best and you are really skinny and little so you're not doing nothing your hiss is not doing nothing to this big ass nigga so he's punch you in the face stump you in the stomach like stumping and kicking you in the stomach and stuff like that and you're like um you're start kind you start crying and screaming like huh like, help me, help me, help me. He's covering your mouth and still hitting you in the face, hitting your face, telling you to shut the fuck up. So, 
when he's, um, done hitting you in the face, he got up. Could you stop screaming? He got up and stopped hitting you and go into the kitchen. You head for the door. You start running towards for the door. He took a pan out of the, out of the kitchen, threw it at you and hit you in the head. And then he ran in there, grabbed you by your hair and pulled you back in the door and started hitting you and punching you some more. So now at this point, at this point, he's crying now talking about, I wish I hadn't, you didn't make me have to do this to you. I wish you didn't make me do this. You was one of my favorite persons. I don't know why you're doing this. So he is like beating you up now to the point where like the side of your face, you could feel like the warmth of your blood on the side of your face. Your, your face, like you can't really feel your face anymore, but you can feel the pain in your stomach and in your chest because he's still stumping you. So after he stops kicking and stumping you and hitting you in your face, he says, oh, hey, whoa, now you have one or two choices. I can sit here and keep doing he says you have one or two choices. I can continue sitting here and keep doing this because I will never get tired of it. Or you could, I can take you to the hospital, call the ambulance. And if you tell anybody about this, then I'm going to kill you. Or I, I don't know if I can say that or take that, then I'm going to off you. So uh, he like, do, do we have a deal? And you are so hurt that you can't even move. He's like screaming your face like, do we have a deal? Which one do you want? Do you want to, do you want to get off? Or which one? Because e either way, like you can either be happy with me or you can, you cannot be happy with me, basically. And you must love the cur the strength to like, sh like say, yes, 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 yes. And so he was like, he calls the ambulance. Uh, so he repeats to you that if you tell anybody at the hospital what happened, that he's going to kill you before he go into jail. So uh, uh, he calls the ambulance and the ambulance gets there and stuff like that. The officer asks what happened. He framed the house to make it seem like, like you got robbed and like somebody was robbing you and stuff like that. So you go to the hospital, you know, your friend, your family show up and stuff like that. And the officers is asking questions like, what happened? Do you know what happened to you? Now, when I say your face is lumped up, your face is so lumpy that you look like one of the creatures off of, um, the scenic creatures off of Frozen. One of those senior monsters, you look just like that. So... You got bandages on your head, your nose is, is broken, your lips, your top lip is covering down here to your chin, like it's sagging so bad that it's down there to your chin and it's busted. You got cuss and bruises on your face and stuff like that. You, you are really messed up. So the officer saying like, what happened? What happened? So you tell the, you mistakenly tell the officers like, oh, somebody followed me when I got home, followed me into the house when I opened up the door and bum rushed me and beat my ass. So your friend is there. She's like, bitch, when did this happen? Because I was there. What are you talking about? I was just there before you got in. Did you just, did you leave again and then come back? And the officers pull her over to the side, like pull over to the side and start talking to her. And he was like, is that true? And you're like, yeah, she was there with me, but she had me so mad I had left and then I had came back. Your friend is like, no, that's not true. I was looking at your location. Um, Whenever you told me to leave, whenever you got mad and told me to leave, I just wanted to make sure you were safe in your right mind and you didn't want to do something that you will regret. And the officer, sir, said, do you have proof of that? And your friend's like, yeah, I took a screenshot of her location, and it's right here. So she shows the officer a screenshot of your location of you being home. So the officer is like, what's really going on? What's really going on? And then the friend tells the officer, like, we just had came home from the doctors, and she had got some really bad news, and this and that. She was waiting for her boyfriend. So now the officer started getting suspicious, like, okay, so... You are, so the officers is still asking, like, what happened, what happened, what happened, like, or, you know, what's going on, so they finally leave. The friend comes to you, like, what's really going on, like, what really happened, did he beat your ass, and you shake your head, like, yeah, and you say, like, if he say, if I told anybody that, he would kill me, so the friend was like, oh, hell no, the friend goes back out and tell the police officer what you had said, but she did it right when your, your man was right there, so your man is standing, like, your man had came to the hospital. He had left, and then um, your friends and family had came and stuff like that, and then the officers came. So uh, when he came back, your friend, like, asked, and your friend was telling the officers what happened. She points out, like, that's him. So now he's like, what's going on? What's going on? Okay, part four. So you're going to have to...
your friend is walking up to him. He was like, nigga, you beat my fucking friend up. Nigga, what the fuck is wrong with you? And she's walking up to him like, let me see your hands. And he pushed her back. He pushes your friend back. Like, bitch, you better get my face. You better get on my face. The officer stepped in because uh, after he pushed your friend, then she stood up and she was gonna, you know, she was gonna hit him. But the officers had grabbed her like, hey, stop, 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 stop. And she, your friend was like, don't look at his fucking hands. Look at his fucking hands. He did that. He did that shit. He beat him. He, he did this to her. He did this to her. And um, that's when. The officers was like, hey, can we see your hands? And he was like, you need to tell them I ain't do shit to you. You need to tell them I ain't, I ain't do shit to you. That Tell them that this bitch is lying on me and this and that. And the officer was like, you need to stop talking to her. He was like, no, fuck y'all. Fuck y'all. And the officer was like, come on, you're under arrest. He was like, he was like, no, get the fuck off of me. Get the fuck off of me. And the officer, he was like, what am I under arrest for? And he was like, you just assault her. You just pushed her and you're, you're resisting arrest. He's like, get the fuck off me. I'm not resisting arrest. So they take in, um, they take him and stuff like that. And while he's screaming down the hallway, while he getting taken, like, you need to tell him the fucking truth. You need to tell him the truth. And then, um, a female officer walks in with, uh, to you and she is like, Hey, we need to get a statement from you. We need a statement from you. And you was like, is he going to jail? And the um, female officer is like, yes, he will be going to jail. He's going to jail for assault and resisting arrest. But um, he was like, okay, good. And you tell the officer the truth, like, yeah, he beat my ass. He beat me up because he thought he, because I was pregnant. So they was like, oh, okay, 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 okay. So, you know, they um, was like, okay, we'll be in touch with you. Okay, so it's the next morning, right? You're getting released from the hospital and stuff like that. You're getting your stuff ready. Your friend is um, coming to get you. And she's just like, I oh, hear you finna come to my house. I know you don't want to go home. And you was like, but I need to take a bath and stuff like that. I need to get some clothes from the house. And you're at her house. You're like, damn, I need to take a shower. I need to take a bath. I stink. I want to get this off of me. She's like, yeah, go ahead and take a shower. You grab some of your stuff out of your shower. You start taking a shower, right? So while you're in the shower, you get a call from the police department, right? So that's when, um, that's when you like, okay, I'll call them back. I don't want to call them while I'm in the shower. I don't want to call them while I'm in the shower. And then that's when you start scrolling on Twitter or X as it's called now. And you see the same gay nigga that exposed your nigga. Time out. Yeah, get you on me. Get you on me. That's gonna buy your nigga out. I'm gonna I'm buy my nigga out every time. I don't care what he did. We locked in forever. This and that. So that's when you start getting scared. You call your friend in there, like, bro, this nigga got bailed out. Your friend, like, bitch, I don't give a fuck. What the fuck he gonna do? Come here. And if he come here, I, I hope he come here. I got some friends. I got some friends. And she was like, you shouldn't be worried either. What the fuck you worried for? What are you worried for? You you more protected over here. So that's when your friend was like, girl, we finna have a. We finna have a movie night. I'm finna call the rest of the girls over. And we just finna have like a little movie night and, you know, discuss and, you know, be sure you're okay. Are you okay with that? And you like, yeah, I need my girls over. I need my girls over. So she called the girls over and the girls was like, your friend, other friends like, what happened? Why are you in the hospital? We was all about you was calling you and stuff like that. Like, what happened? Like, I see your face. Are you okay? And you just waited till they all got there. So you could like explain what happened. So um, when they all got there, y'all was in a circle and y'all like watch a movie before y'all start watching the movie you started telling them like yeah i went to the hospital and they had said that i had you know i had hiv and that i and that i was pregnant so one of your friends out of friend group was like you got hiv and you're like yeah and she's like was you sleeping around like who gave it to you you like bitch the only person i was sleeping what the fuck you mean don't don't do that so don't do that your other friend was like bitch don't do that do not do that. So she's like, no, nah, I'm just saying, like, he gave that to you. Are you sure that was him? So you just like, girl, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, why? Like, what are you doing? So she was just like, no, I'm just really worried about you. I'm really worried about you. And your friend's like, girl, if you don't shut the fuck up, the, the real friend was like, girl, if you don't shut the fuck up. And the friend was like, girl, why the fuck are you getting mad at me? Like, I was just trying to make sure that she's okay. And your friend was like, how the fuck is that a question I asked her? How is that? We all know who the fuck she was sleeping with. So that's where, um, that's when they, she was like, girl, I ain't, I ain't got time for this. I ain't got time for this. And then the, the girl that asked you the stupid ass question had um stormed out. She had stormed out. And she was like, I'll be back. I'm going to go get something from the car. I'm going to go get something from the car. And then your, uh, your real friend was like, yeah. And when you come back, you better have a better fucking attitude, bitch. And that's when she was like, girl, please shut up. So she went out. Your other friend was like, I'm so sorry. We're here for you. I am so, I'm here for you. I'm, I'm going to do whatever you want me to do, whatever you need me to do. Whenever you call me, I'm right there. And you know that. You know that. So your other friend had came back into the house and back into the room. So um, she was just like, dang, girl, like, dang, like, I can't believe he gave you that. I can't believe he gave you that. And your, your real friend is like, your real friend was like, bitch, stop. Because we, we've been stopped talking about it. Like, we finna get the movie rolling. We finna get, and we finna make her feel better, not feel bad about it. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And your friend's like, bitch, you finna get out of my house if you don't shut up. So that's when the um, girl was like, girl, well, why you keep doing that? Why you keep doing that? And uh, she was like, I'm finna go get the. She said, girl, I'm finna go get, I'm finna go get the pieces 
in the oven, in the oven because y'all tripping. Y'all fucking tripping. I just said that I can't believe he gay that her, and I can't believe that she ain't no witness and that. Like, that's all I was fucking saying. And she was just like, but how did you know? How did you know? And the brother was like, girl, I'm finna punch you in your fucking face if you say something else. Go put the pizza on. Just go put the pizza on. So the girl was like, man, what the fuck ever? Your other friend got it. was like, come on, let's just go put the pizza on. Like, let's just go. Let's just go. She was like, no, nah, because she tripping. Like, she just tripping. So they uh, go into the kitchen to put the pizza on. Your friend's phone started ringing. The fake one. The fake friend phone started ringing. So you look down at it, and you're just like, oh, it's no safe number. It's no safe number. And then the phone keeps ringing, keep ringing, keep ringing. And you're like, hey, your phone ringing. And she rushed into there. She, like, dropped the pizza. And your friend, your real friend was like, hey, what the fuck was that? And stood up and see her running in there. So your uh, real friend grabbed the phone and was like, hello? And all you, and she was like, give me the phone, get the phone. I heard this, bitch, stop calling my man. So we was like, who the fuck was that? What, what the fuck is going on? So, and they hung up after they said that. So the girl's like, get my fucking phone, bitch, get my fucking phone. Getting ready to fight your real friend. So the real friend was like, oh, no, and you know you can't be my ass. You know you can't be my ass on your fucking ass. She was like, I don't care. You can't get in my phone anyway. You can't get in my phone anyway. So the girl's like, bitch, I know your passcode. And enter her passcode and dial the number. So the girl tried to grab her phone from your, your real friend. And the other friend is like holding her like, girl, stop, stop. It's not that deep. It's not that deep. While the phone is still ringing on speaker. And he was like, bitch, didn't I, didn't I tell you to stop calling my fucking man? Like, whoever this is playing on the fucking phone. If this that bitch that sent him to jail, bitch, I must have to see you. I'm going to have to see you because you playing. So your real friend is like. Wait a minute, what the fuck is going on? Who is it? She was just like, I just, I just got this phone and I just answered it. Um, he was like, no, nah, I know who the fuck this is. I know exactly who the fuck this is. Why the fuck you playing on my man's phone and stuff like that? And that's why your number ain't saved, you cheesecake head ass bitch. And that's when um, your friend was like, okay, wait a minute, let's get down to the bottom. And he was like, is this the name? And you say the name that's on Twitter. And he was like, yeah, bitch, I knew that was you that sent my man to jail. I don't know why you sent his ass to jail, bitch. That's why he, I hope he beat your ass again. And this and that, your face gonna look worse than that when I get through with you because you playing on my motherfucking phone. So, y'all look at your friend like, bitch, what the fuck is going on? And she was like, girl, I, I was just playing on his phone because I knew, I knew he was the one that got it started. No, 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 no. So, the, the gay boy was like, wait a minute, what? What the fuck is going on? So, he gives a FaceTime call. He's FaceTiming, right? So your friend, your fa your real friend answers a FaceTime call like, what the fuck is going on? And he was like, uh, who is this? Who, what the fuck is going on? Why y'all playing on my motherfucking phone? All y'all bitches gonna get y'all ass beat. So your fa your real friend is like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I already know, you know, you know Demarius, right? And he was like, yeah, that's my man. That's my man. What the fuck is going on? And, uh, he was like, are you that, are you that bitch? So your, uh, so the dude was like, this can't be blah 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 which is her name which is your name this can't be it because that hoe got her face beat the fuck in so who the fuck is playing on my phone who the fuck is playing on my phone why y'all playing on my man's phone this and that and that's when um that's when your real friend was like bro uh i seen he was like this is the uh is this the marius nigga and he was like yes bitch you know exactly who the fuck i am but i don't know exactly who the fuck you are so tell me who the fuck you are and stop playing on me and my man's phone and uh he was like and y'all might want to fucking go get checked because d like spreading that shit around all the way around town so y'all might want to get go get checked so that's when your your fake friend is trying to grab her phone and the dude seen her. He was like, oh, bitch, I seen you around. I seen you around, bitch. If, is that you playing on my motherfucking phone and on my, on my nigga's phone? I told you to stay away from him, ho. And uh, he was just like, I been told you. And that's why your last fight got some, you stupid ass bitch, this and that. So your real friend hangs up the phone. Y'all turn y'all attention to your fake friend. Like, bitch, what the fuck is going on? Okay, so part five. Now, we're going to have to give these girls some names so we can keep up. So, of course, there's you. We're going to call your real friend name. Your real friend name is Bree. The fake friend name is Crystal. And then the girl that went and walked Crystal to the kitchen and said, come on, let's just go put the pizza on. We're going to call her Mia. And then the other two friends that's just there is Alex and Kayla. So you have your real friend. Your real friend is Bree. Fake friend Crystal. The Mia, the one that walked her to there. And then Alex and Kayla. So... Um, your real friend still has the phone. Bree still has the phone in her hand. Like, bro, like, what the fuck? After the man hung up, like, bitch, you got some explaining to do. What the fuck is going on? You're like, girl, what, what the hell is going on? Like, what, what happened? Kayla interjects and was like, I knew you was fucking him. I knew you was fucking him. I thought I had seen y'all out the other day. Not the other day, but like, maybe like a week and a half ago. And I thought that was you. I really did think that was you with him. So... Uh, Kayla was like, when I was telling you that I, I, I thought I seen him out with another girl, and you were just like, nah, he at work. It can't be him. It, it can't be him. I thought that was you. And so, Bree is pissed. Bree stopped talking. 
grab her by her hair and start dragging her. So all, now all of your friends is beating her up except for Alex. You and Alex are just sitting there. Like you're mad and Alex is just sitting there. So the girl Crystal is getting jumped. And then um, Alex is like, hey guys, like, hey, let's just give her the benefit of the doubt. Let's give her the benefit of the doubt. So Kayla's like, bitch, you wanna be next? So Alex is like, no, like, so Alex is like, no, but that's some weak ass shit to, to jump somebody some weak ass shit. And Crystal is still talking shit while she's getting beat up. She's still getting beat up by Kayla and Bree. Like, she's still getting her ass beat by them, okay? And Mia. I forgot about Mia. She's still getting her ass beat by Mia, Kayla, and Bree. So, Mia's like, I'm about to drag this bitch out here and I'm about to push her ass down the stairs. And I was just like, come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on. Like, please, let's keep the peace. Let's please keep the peace. So, Kayla gets mad at Alex and was like, I already told you to shut the fuck up. Like, you, if you're going to sit there, just sit there. She's like, no, nah, that's just some weak ass shit. That child just going to just drag her like that. So Kayla got, got pissed. Kayla grabs Alex by her hair and start beating her up. So now Mia got off of Crystal and is trying to get Kayla off of Alex. I was like, y'all got me fucked up. Y'all got me fucked up. Y'all think y'all gonna jump me, this and that. And she was like, and you just sitting here talking about you. And you just sitting there not doing nothing. That's why I'm glad you got your ass beat, this and that. Whoa. So the two dumb bitches, Alex and Crystal, get up and walks outside, right? So they, they going outside. Kayla and them is following them. Like, bitch, y'all ain't finna get out of here. Y'all ain't finna get out of here. And Alex is like, you wanna bet? You wanna bet? So Alex start calling somebody. Alex start calling her sisters, right? So... Um, Kayla's like, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. And your real friend is like, Bree is like, oh yeah, okay, two can play that game. Bree start calling her sister too. Kayla start calling her sisters. So everybody is calling everybody at this point. So after after that, Nat, like you trying to tell you trying to tell Kayla and them like, come on, come on, come on, come on before they call the police because they're gonna call the police. So Kayla and them goes back into the house and it's like, man, fuck them bitches, fuck them bitches. And when they walk into the house, Kayla's sister pulled up because Kayla's sisters live like maybe like five minutes away from you five minutes away so Kayla's sister pulls up and was like hey yo what, what's going on what's going on and Kayla's like oh we about to beat these bitches up we need to beat these bitches up and the sisters is like confused like I thought the, they was your friend like what happened like what happened that fast and Kayla's like I'll just tell you later I'll just tell you later so um while Kayla's sisters is about to get out the car uh Crystal and Alex is inside of the car and Kayla's like bitch get out the car get out the car and they was like no I'm not getting out the car I ain't nobody trying to go to jail ain't nobody trying to go to jail and you I know you bitches be calling the cops and stuff like that Kayla's like I ain't gonna call the cops get out the car so we can catch our ones come on let's get out the car so we can catch our ones she's like no nah, y'all already jumped me she's like bitch we did not jump you we did not jump you what the fuck are you talking about me was like bro we did not jump you I got Kayla off of you what are you talking about so after that um the sister's like so are we gonna fight or, or what and then that's when Bree's Bree's friends pull up. So Bree's friends pull up and was like, hey, what's going on? And Bree, you know, explained the situation to Kayla, sisters, and then her friends. So everybody's like, oh, you bitches need to get beat up. You bitches need to get beat up, especially you. And so they break the window on Crystal's side, like shattered it, boom. Grab Crystal by the hair and pull her out. Like you, you scandalous ass bitch and pulling her. She's like, stop, I'm getting cut. Stop, I'm getting cut. Help me. And she's screaming like, help me, help me. This bitch is just jumping me, this and that. And Alex is just sitting right there. And Kayla is like, I wish you would move, bitch. I wish you would. So that's when the they start hearing sirens. Everybody scatter. Everybody go back into the um, apartment. And y'all just all chilling out. And you just explain the story of what happened. And Kayla's just like, oh, I'm going to fuck her up. I'm going to fuck her up. And she was just like, how did Alex get into it? How did Alex get into it? And Kayla explained like how Alex got into it. And uh, you're just like, yeah, Alex didn't need to put herself into it. Alex didn't need to put herself into it or whatever. And then that's when, um, you know, everybody spent the night. Like, y'all start watching TV. Everybody spent the night. And then they go home in the morning. So your mom comes over in the morning and was like, hey, hey, like, you know, you told me what happened. I didn't get the time to talk to you about it and stuff like that. But you need to take that man back because he's a good man and he takes care of you. So what if he gave you something like you both have it? You need to take him back. Like, what did you do? You probably did something to him to for to make him like hit you like this. So you're just like, what the fuck? What? I'm not taking that. What? And your mom's like, well, he takes really good care of you. You will never find another man like that that takes good care of you like he does and stuff like that. Like, he does everything for you. And and I just don't think that you should let him go. I'm going to talk to him again about it. And you're like, again? 
okay so you get pissed off and you kick your mom out like hey go like you need to go because you out of pocket for that you telling me that it's my fault that he beat my ass like this and she was like yeah like i never seen him do that and and neither have you and so you must have enraged him that much to make him put his hands on you i'm not saying that he should have took it that far i'm just saying that you should have made him that mad and just just think about the positives he's husband material what so you like oh you gotta go you gotta go so you get in your phone so after your mama leave like maybe a couple hours later your phone starts blowing up your phone start blowing up from an unknown number i know you finally answer it and it's the gay dude talking about some yeah um we finna be over there in a minute we finna be over there in a minute okay so after the gay dude hang up you call brie and you like bet the, the gay dude said he's on his way brie like girl stop fucking playing and you like, no, nah, for real, for real, for real. And you start to fuck now. And Bree's like, girl, what? What are you for real? And you like, yes. You said he's on his way. He's, you, he said he is on his way right now. So Bree was like, all right, girl, here come, here come, here come. But Bree works 20 minutes away from you, away from your house. Bree were, and Bree was like, don't open the door for nobody until I get there. And if they get there before I do, call the police. So you just like, yeah, I'll go call the police. I was going to call the police, stuff like that. So Bree is like, bitch, stand the phone, stand the phone, stand the phone. And she was like, here I come. Actually, no, here I come. Here I come. She's like, please don't open the door for nobody. Open the door for that nigga. Don't, don't, don't even look at the down door. So that's when Brie hung up. And then like five minutes later, you get a tick, tick, at the door. You get a knock at the door. You look at the peephole quietly. You try to look at the peephole. It's your mom. So I need to explain it. So when you look at the peephole, your mom is standing right here. It's a hallway. And then it's stairs right here behind your mom. So your mom is on the stairs, right? So... When, you're, when you open up the door for your mom, there's the gay dude, there's your ex-boyfriend, or the dude that gave you the herpes, and then there's your mom. And they rush in there. you just like, what the fuck are y'all doing? What the fuck are y'all doing? You need to get the fuck out of my house. And then that's when the uh, mom's like, no, you guys need to talk it out. He's a good man. He's a good man. And you just like, so what the fuck is the gay dude here for? And the gay dude is like, because I'm here to tell you that this is my man. You need to leave us alone. You need to leave us, you and your mom need to leave us alone, and the, the dude that gave you herpes, like, nah, I'm over here because I want to be with you. I'm sorry, I hate you, like, so after that, he was like, I should have never did it to you. I should have never put my hands on you. I'm so sorry for that. I just want to be with you, and, and I'm so sorry for that. The mom's like, yeah, you better not never put your hands back on my daughter again. I'm not playing with you. It's going to get ugly if you do that again, while your face is still bruised and, and fucked up, okay? So you just like, he already be my, what, wait, what is going on? Like, y'all need to get the fuck out. The gay dude was like, wait a minute, what? Like, I didn't come over here for that. I thought we was coming over here to tell this bitch off. What are you, what are you saying? And he took, the gay dude was talking, the gay dude was talking to each other. So your ex-boyfriend was like, yeah, I just want to be with her and stuff like that. Mom's like, yeah. And if you want to be with her, you have to cut him off. There's no more communication with him. And she's telling you, like, please don't cut him off. He's a good man. He provides for you. He do all of this for you. So the gay dude's like, nah, you bitch, you got me fucked up. Like, you really got me fucked up, D. If you think I'm about to let, let the shit go. So that's when the uh, the ex-boyfriend was, like, told the gay dude, like, nah, you need to go up to the car. You you wildin' right now. You need to go up to the car. You wildin' right now. So the gay dude was like, nah, because you got me fucked up. I didn't know that was what we was over here for. Bitch, her nigga, I would have never came if that was what we was here for. So that's when... Or uh, he was like, just go to the car. Go to the car for a beat your ass. So the gay dude goes to the car, I guess. He leaves, right? And then the mom was like, yeah, you just should never put your hands on her again. Like, that's not a good look. He's like, yeah, no, mom, I'm sorry. You let your mom up. Don't guard it. That's not your mom. So, so you like, nigga, I'm not getting back together with you. Are you fucking stupid? Are you stupid? You must be stupid. So the gay dude comes back up with something in his hand. It's not a gun. I'm gonna tell you, it's not a gun. It's a bat. He's like, nah, this bitch got me fucked up. You think he won't come make me come aware and steal my man and try to hit your mom with the bat. So you rush old dude. You you rush the gay dude. And then you end up getting your ass beat again by the gay dude. Your mom is just sitting there like, huh, 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 not helping you. Even though he was going to swing it. Your mom's not helping you. You're sitting over there. Oh, oh, oh. The dude, the, the, your boyfriend, your ex-boyfriend grabs the gay dude. And then him and the, the boyfriend start fighting. Him and the gay dude start fighting, right? So they fighting. You just like, I'm about to call the police. I'm about to call the police. And then the gay dude took like the bag to start busting out everything in your house. So then that's when Bree shows up. Bree shows up, pull her and was like, I'm about to air this bitch out. Okay, I'll get the fuck out of my, at his house. And mom's like, yeah, just go, just go, just go, just go. So Bree's like, what's going on? You tell her. The mom brought her, brought him over there. So Bree's like, bitch, you get out too. 
you get out too. She's like, I was just trying to make it better. All I was trying to do was make it better. I wasn't trying to make things worse. I, I, I don't know why I gotta get out and stuff like that. And like, Bree's like, why the fuck would you do that? Why would you bring up over here? Because he's a good guy. He's a good guy. And nobody deserves, uh, she deserves to, to be have like a good guy. All I want was what's best for her. So her and Bree start arguing with, um, oh, I forgot to tell you. Bree shot, uh, shot at the, the gay dude in the dude's car. That's what I need her. And you like, and Bree's like, why the fuck would you bring them here? Why would you bring them here? So your mom's like, I didn't mean to do it. I didn't mean to do it. I'm so sorry. I just try to help. He's a really good man. And he doesn't deserve any of this. So Brie like, he don't deserve this for being your daughter as. So Brie gets mad and start beating up your mama. You get mad at Brie for beating up your mom. You tell Brie to get the fuck out and you take your mom to take you to the hospital. Don't know why you did that. Don't know why you did that. So Brie's like, girl, are you fucking serious? Like, are you for real? And Brie's like, you, you tripping right now. You tripping right now. I'm about to just leave you because I know... I know you hurt and stuff like that. Like, I'm about to take you to the hospital and finna just leave right here with this bitch. This, this, this bitch is not even fit enough to take care of you. Let alone, like, when you, when you broke in and stuff like that. I'm not leaving you here with this bitch. And you, like, you yell at Brie. Cause I'm like, go. I don't know why the fuck you hit my mama and this and that. Brie's like, girl, are you serious? Are you? Oh, fast forward. The gay dude end up, the gay dudes end up getting arrested. So then you start feeling safe and you start feeling good and stuff like that. And then... That's when Brie texts you, like, okay, so are you gonna finally apologize to me? And you, like, apologize for it. You beat up my mama. You beat up my mama. I don't know why you would put your hands on my mama. I didn't put my hands on my mama. So why would you put your hands on my mama? So Brie's like, oh, girl, you're tripping. And you start cussing Brie out again. And Brie's like, oh, girl, this ain't gonna, this ain't gonna work. This friendship is not gonna work. Like, if you don't be like that, it's really not gonna work. You, like, y'all care about, like, I don't know why you did that, but, no, I don't care about. So after that, you hear a ba 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 on the door. You get scared. You wake up. Cause it's in the middle of night, it's like two o'clock. You get up, you like, what the fuck? You go to the door and you look out and it's your mom. Your mom coming in, so you know you're talking about, how could you get him arrested? Why the fuck would you do that? He was a good man. He provided for us and this and that. You a dumb bitch and your mama is fighting you. Your mom is fighting you. So that's when, after your mom get done beating you up and stuff like that, you call Brie and you just like, yeah, you're right, you're right. And then all your other friends come over. And you explain what happened again. And then you cry. You tell them that you're sorry. And um, you vow to never speak to your mom. Boom. Um, a couple of days after that, your mom knocks at the door. Knock, knock, knock. You open the door. She's like, I'm so sorry, baby. I should have never put my hands on you. I'm so sorry. I know even though you can be so frustrated sometimes. Like, I should have never put my hands on you. So so she ends up cooking you something to eat and doing your hair while you eat him. And you're just telling her, like, I still don't have much of an appetite. Uh, I'm still going through the stages and it's really hard and stuff like that and you tell them they're like i'm just sleeping a lie and i don't i don't feel the energy i don't have this i feel like i'm dying sometimes and the mom was just like well it's okay we're gonna get through it we're gonna get through it and you just like i got a doctor's appointment tomorrow and she just like okay well that's that's good so your mom end up leaving so you start to feel really tired and you just like what the fuck so you call your mama and you just like what was it that soup like i feel even more tired now i don't even have the energy to do anything that's why i knew i shouldn't have ate and your mom's like, no, it wasn't the soup. It was probably because I put NyQuil and Benadryl in your soup so you can go to sleep. And you're like, why the fuck would you do that? Why would you do that? And she's like, well, we're just trying to help you go to sleep. You had a fever and usually sleep and fe sleeping it off would, would do well. And you have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. We'll go to it. Like, I'll, we'll, I'll ask the doctor about it. And you say to her, you not come to my damn doctor's appointment. You just keep doing shit to me. Are you trying to kill me or something? I'm taking an HIV medication. And I don't think that you're supposed to take any other medication, not even over-the-counter medication with this. So you go to your doctor's appointment with Kayla and Bree, and the doctor's ex is explaining everything like that. The doctor's is telling you, like, make sure you keep your appointments and don't miss no appointments because this is important. I'm just like, okay. So as y'all are walking out, your mom is coming in. And Bree and Kayla, what the fuck is she doing here? Like, why are you here? And she's just like, well, I just thought she would need some company. I know you guys were going to come with her and stuff like that. Kayla's like, why wouldn't we come with her? So she's just like, well, I got somebody here that, that knows and understands about it and stuff like that. And Kayla's like, no, the fuck you did. No, the fuck you did not. So she brings the ex-boyfriend and she's like, well, I just thought he didn't cover you and stuff like that. I thought this will be a good time because, you know, he knows about this and he's been through it and he's just going to walk you through it. So he so everybody gets to argue and security guards telling everybody to leave. The ex-boyfriend is just like, uh, I'll do anything for you. I'm so sorry. Like, I know this is a crucial time for you. I'm going to walk you through it. I'm going to always be here for you and stuff like that. Blah, blah, blah. Bree's like, nigga, you ain't touching her. You ain't coming near her. And then everybody goes home. The next day, you hear a knock at your door. It's the ex-boyfriend. And he just like, 
Well, I, I just want to be here for you. Long story short, you let him in and he ends up staying. So you're hiding from Brie and Kellenum because you don't really want them to know that the dude is back in there and stuff like that. You don't want to feel like a dumb bitch, even though you are. But anyway, it's been like five days and you only text every once in a while and stuff like that. So Brie and Kellenum was just like, we should go and check up on her. And everybody agreed, but you ain't know that. So so you hear a knock on the door and you look at the peephole and it's Brie and Kellenum. And then the dude was like, your ex-boyfriend's like, oh, who was that? Who's that at the door? Get the door. And you just tell him, like, shh, shh, like, be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. And, like, and he's like, who is it? So Brie and them was like, uh-uh. Brie got the key, opened up the door, and see that you was back together. So Brie and Kayla call you all types of dumbass bitches. And he just like, well, I don't know why y'all so mad. I'm fucking hurting that y'all. And Brie ends up pulling the gun out. And you're just like, no, 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 don't do that, don't do that. You're stressing me out. All you and calls me to die and lose the baby in this net. Brie just like, oh, no, you are a dumb bitch. Don't ever talk to me again. Like, as long as you're talking to him, as long as he's around, don't talk to me. Like, ever. So you get mad at Brie, and you just like, well, if you want to throw our friendship away over a nigga, then you can't. And Brie's like, bitch, you don't want to stone away over a nigga. And whenever, don't call me whenever he's done dragging your ass through hell. And so one day, your mom comes over again, and she just like, I'm going to cook for you. And you're just like, well, I have a doctor's appointment in a minute. Mom's like, go ahead. I know you are going to go with your friends and stuff like that. They didn't seem like they want me there the last few times. So go ahead and go. you just like, okay, so you go to your doctor's appointment. And then you come back, and the boyfriend is fucking your mama. Okay, so part eight, you walk in on your mama and your boyfriend having sex. Your mom instantly goes to say, he was graping me. He was graping me. Take great. Take away the G word. You got the word. Okay, so you just like, oh my God. Your boyfriend's like, bitch, stop lying. Your mom's like, I wouldn't do that to you, baby. I wouldn't do that to you, baby. He was graping me. The boyfriend went over to the mama and started beating her ass. And you pull out your phone and start recording. Like, get away from her. Get away from her before I call the cops. Your boyfriend runs towards you and start choking you out and stuffing you out. So after your boyfriend leaves, you trying to call the cops and your mama's trying to say like, no, don't call the cops. We can handle this ourselves. We can handle this ourselves. And you're just like, no, this motherfucker need to go to jail. Your mom's like, no, 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 but I really don't want you to call the cops and stuff like that. So the cops come anyway. And then you tell your side of the story. Your mama tell her side of the story. The cop is coming to you like, okay, so what really happened? Because I'm getting this from you and I'm getting that from her. So you go over there and it's like, mom, what did you tell them? And she just like, oh, I just told them what happened. And the cop was like, do you need to go to the hospital to get a great kid? And your mom's like, no, because he didn't do that to me. He didn't do that to me. You look like, bitch, what the fuck are you talking about? So after the cops leave or whatever, you talk to your mom like, why did, why did you say that didn't happen to you? And you told me that it happened to you. She was just like, no, I told you that. I told you that because he really did do it. But I don't want somebody's life to be ruined and stuff like that. And you just like, he beat you up, choked me out and snuck me out. What are you talking about? He needs to be in jail. And he did that to you. And she was just like, well, I don't really know if he really did that to me because we were both drunk and high and I don't know what happened after that. I kind of blacked out. So days after that, you go to your doctor's appointment and then at your doctor's appointment, the doctor is telling you how the baby no longer has a heartbeat and, you know, miscarriages can just happen. It's not nobody fault and then this and that. So you completed the miscarriage. You go home, you call your, try to call your mom, but your mom is not answering. You text her like, this is what happened. You text her to discharge papers and stuff like that. She's still not answering. So then... A little bit like hours later you start texting and calling Bree. so you tell him Bree what happened like this is what happened and stuff like that and Bree's like good what the fuck you want me to do about it? that's good that was God looking out for you telling you that you didn't need that damn baby that is exactly what happened and you just get mad at Bree like I don't know why I called you and Bree's like I don't know why either I told you don't call me when he stomped your ass out to hell didn't I so after you hung up on Bree Crystal gets on messenger and texts you and is cussing you out like I knew you was the dirty bitch and this and that blah 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 so you just like, what the fuck going on? You get on Facebook, your Facebook, and you got all these notifications. You get to the bottom of what the fuck is going on. So apparently the gay dude that was with your boyfriend went and got tested, posted his test results, and was saying like, you was the dirty bitch that was going around spreading the HIV and stuff like that because he don't have it. So Crystal, your ex-best friend, and then the gay dude ended up joining together to talk shit about you on Facebook. And you start talking shit back to him. And Crystal's like, I don't know why you're talking shit, popping your shit like you can fight and stuff like that. And the gay dude was like, we should go over there and be her and her mama ass. And you just like, leave my mama out of it. She ain't got nothing to do with it. The gay dude ended up saying, girl, are you stupid? You don't know your mama is fucking him? And you just like, no, he raped my mama, he raped my mama. And everybody laughed at that comment. So you just like, okay, whatever. You get off Facebook and stop arguing with them. You call your mom, but your mom is still not answering. She hasn't been answering for a couple weeks or whatever since that incident happened. So you go over there and drove over there to your mom's house. And lo and behold, it's the ex-boyfriend and the mom walking out together, having looking happy. 
So you start cussing them like, what the fuck is going on? Your mom start cussing you all, calling you all types of dumbass girls and dumb bitches and this and that. And then it turns out that the mama is pregnant by him. He wants to stay with the mama because he, the mama's going to take care of all of them. And then the mom is the one who gave him the HIV and he gave it to you. Oh, and your mom is saying the baby that was in her stomach was going to be named your full name, that you're not her daughter anymore and you are not to contact or come by and talk to her anymore. So now you don't have no friends, you have no boyfriend, you have HIV, no baby that you really wanted, I guess, and no mom. There's <laughs> over here! Hey, please.